I suppose the obvious part of the St. Andrews is the remarkable uh, experience of standing on the first tee. I think there's probably nowhere in the world, and I've not traveled the world as so many great golfers have, that you feel so much a part of town. One is in awe of standing on the first tee. You know that everybody in their clubs are looking out, uh, whether it's just after lunch and they're having their cup of coffee. They know perfectly well that that first shot is really a horrendous shot. A friend of mine was telling me he took a guest who was quite a good two handicap player and he couldn't believe it. He hit a sky shot off the first tee short of Granny Clark's wine. He then hit it hard on the head into the swilk and pulled out, chipped out, and then he went round the rest of the course in two under fours. It was simply he was overcome by the first tee. So the first hole is, of course, I guess, the most exciting because it promises great things. But there are a great number of good holes. The short 11th is one of the most exciting in golf. Uh, that has a, a green that slopes very steeply and you really have to hold your tee shot. I think the 17th is probably the best known hole in golf, the famous road hole. And you have to go on playing that. However often you play it, you probably play it a different way each time. And then of course the final, the 18th. People don't realize the 18th is an easy, short, shortish hole, no bunkers, wide fairway but the whole adrenaline is flowing as you come back in. It's your last hole after a round of golf, and you're walking in down the, the footsteps where you probably think some of the great golfers, whether they're Seve Ballesteros or Jack Nicklaus or Arnold Palmer or Gary Player, or even some of the more contemporary greats have played, and you just get this feeling of warmth because down the right-hand side are all the houses and the clubs and the shops, and you're walking back into town quite an unnerving experience. And at the back of the 18th, not in the championship, but just on any day you go, there's a very knowledgeable crowd at the back of the 18th. Now, I've stood there watching people play. I have seen some appalling putting, and not a murmur. And I've seen some wonderful putts. And even a shortish putt that goes in will be greeted by a round of applause. And that is the generosity of the St. Andrews resident and the visitors when they're watching the golfers playing. They will never say anything or, or express anything about a bad shot, but they will really applaud a good one. So that's one of the excitements of St. Andrews. So you asked me what I, uh, I really like to do. I'd really like to hold a putt on the 18th for a three. I don't know whether it'll ever happen.